Faces were cursed him. Faces were cursed his father. Faces were cursed his grandfather. Faces were cursed family members. Never to be nothing. When he can put his face to face. To face to face. That's when a man will break the curse. Let me tell you. It's the location of prayer that they use in the Islam faith to say that you must pray by location. Huh? You must pray by location. Praying by location means that where I am is not where I need to be. Amen, somebody. But when I pray, I switch. I switch my desires for God's desires. So when I kiss the ground, I kiss the ground with my desires. But he begins to sanctify my desires and make my desires what it really needs to be. Amen. Come on, tell somebody, man. If you want to stand up straight, you got to learn how to kiss the ground. And when you kiss the ground, you shall break the curse. Hallelujah. When you don't get face to face, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same pastoral demons that came after me, that came after my grandfather, Alvin Williams. My grandfather was a pastor. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But he got stuck in some stuff. Hallelujah. But when I get on my knees, when, I, when I'm no longer concerned about this road, when I'm no longer concerned about my color, when I'm no longer concerned about my talent, and I forget all of that, and I get down, Hallelujah. And I say, if the Muslims can do it, the Christians can do one better. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we will teach men how to look your curse in the face. Hallelujah. And say, I could be you. And I have been you. But I came to look you in the face to tell you because of this prayer, I no longer am you. Hallelujah. 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 I don't want more men praying in the Islam faith yes. than praying yes. in the Christian faith. Yes. Because yes. we haven't taught men. Uh -huh. A real man prays. Yes. Yes. High five. Yes. Come on. Come on. Move too slow. A real man prays. Yes. A real man. Oh, you can't miss this one. Come on. A real man prays. Hallelujah. 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 We're about to give every man the key Hallelujah. to unlock all his secrets. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that key will come when I get down on my knees. Hallelujah. And I put the key in the lock. It's an old key because my grandfather had it. Never used it. My father had it. Never used it. But I'm going to put that same key. In a lock and unlock myself Hallelujah. and release the promise. Hallelujah. 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 I'm gonna show you how to select. Because there's gonna be a lot in my soul. Hallelujah. 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 What does that scripture say in, what is it, First Timothy I gave you? What did I give you, a minister in that? First Timothy 2 and 8. Okay, let's all stand to our feet while we read this. Hear you, hear you, the word of the Lord, First Timothy, Timothy 2 and 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In every place of worship, mm -hmm. I want In men. every place of worship. In other words, this ain't just going to happen in the church, y'all. In every place of worship. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. This is an hour where people may actually get saved in the mosque. Mm -hmm. Where a man may lift his hands one time and say, I'm, I'm not in the right place I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all don't believe God can do it. Amen, somebody. He, can do it. he said every place of worship. Is that what the scripture said? The scripture says. Because we feel in our small petty minds that God can't move unless it's a church. Amen. But he said in every place of worship. God is working on people in the synagogue. God is working on people at the masjid. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. He bring them to himself because he's saying to them that there's more. How do I know that? Because this brother right here had a brother by the name of Kurt who was a Muslim. But the, but the day that he saw me preaching across the street, smoking a cigarette, he dropped his Islam, he dropped his cigarette, and crossed the street because apparently God was working on him while he was standing in the masjid. In every place of worship, don't you tell me where God's not working right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep reading. Thank you, Lord. In every place of worship, I want men to pray. I want men. Who's talking here? God is talking here. I want men. Go ahead. I want men to pray with holy hands. I want men to pray with washed and clean hands. They may not have always been holy because your pastor's hands ain't always been holy. But there's a day coming where the hands that were nasty, the hands that love to be filthy and dirty are now clean. Well, I need a man to testify. Yeah. Oh, I used to like dirt, Pastor. I used to like to be filthy. I'm right with you, man of God. The more filthier I like it, I need somebody to be transparent and real and tell the truth. But just because I like filth don't mean I had to stay in it. 